Hello, this is FlexFireLEDs.com coming at you with another installation video. Uh, today we wanted to show you guys how to make a long distance uh, RGB installation using amplifiers. Uh, typically with RGB LED lights, you kind of want more than one reel. Um, we have a lot of uh, inquiries from bars, restaurants, um, resorts. You know, there, there's a lot of people out here wanting this stuff, especially for signage too. Um, so we're here today to kind of explain to you why you would need an, uh, an amplifier and why you would need some different items to make a long distance run. Most common question, well, why can't I just run 200 feet of these things off one single power supply? Um, these lights use 12 volts DC, and what happens with 12 volts DC is over the length, um, that 12 volts becomes less and less and less to where it may not even be enough to power the lights. Um, if you're looking at RGB strip lights with 150 LEDs on the reel, you could typically run two reels, um, which is around 32 feet without seeing any voltage drop, what it's called. So that's pretty much the maximum that you should run those lights without using an amplifier. Um, on the this specific reel, which I'm showing you today, which is the RGB 300, um, that's 300 LEDs on the reel. Um, this one particular has an IP68 reading, uh, rating, which means it's submergible. Um, you typically only want to run one reel per, per power supply and then have it onto an amplifier. So I'll kind of show you briefly how I have this one hooked up. Go straight from the, the, the LED driver, it's 12 volt DC out, into our remote control. Make sure you have everything unplugged until you are ready to power the lights, especially when you're wiring, because if the wires touch, it may ruin the remote um, if, it's, if it's turned on. So you connect the R, the G's, and the B's. On this particular one, I did a custom installation, but typically there's a snap connector on the end of this. Um, this is our mini RGB remote. Goes through the reel and then into this RGB amplifier. It's backwards, so let me show you. On one side, you have the input, and the other side, you have the output. So on the input side, you're going to start, um, you're going to put the input in with the, the first run. And then the output side, you're going to connect to the second string of lights. Um, there's a little indicators that say the common, uh, the positive, uh, red, green, and blue. And so all you need to do is um, power the lights. Sorry about that. Plug in the power. And if everything is lined up connectly, uh, correctly and all of the uh, connections are strong, meaning you've stripped enough of the, the plastic off of the wire, kind of doubled it over to make it really thick, and then put it in there so you know it's not sitting on plastic, Everything should um, should line up, and when you change the colors, they should change uh, together. And so what you would do is, on the end of this run over here, you would install another connector, another amplifier, and another power supply, and you can keep going over and over and over until you have uh, your project complete. Again, this is FlexFireLEDs.com, and go ahead and write us any questions at info at FlexFireLEDs.com. Thank you, and have an awesome day.